No. Anyway, here we go. It's hit. Oh, what a save! save. It ricochets. Yeah! 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 First 20 minutes of the second half, you know, we, we, we looked way on top, you know, we could have scored three or four goals in that time. Big staff had three chances, keeper made some good saves. You know, to come back from, you know, from 5-3 down to pull it back in the last minute to, to, to equalise it. What a crazy, crazy game of football, but, you know, it'll give the players a lift. And, you know, I just thought we did, when he brought on the new substitution, I just thought we defended better, we were better in the field. We, we offered more more threat, but Swindon had decided to go for the, you know, for the, they were, they, want, they were safe with the points, so they put all their players back to try and defend, and we broke through that, which I didn't think we were going to do. Palmer did brilliantly to set up the first goal, I think about Austin, for Young, and then the second goal, a terrific ball in to the near post to Ken. Wrexham tried to come back, and got a goal back with Bickerstaff brilliantly getting between two men and smashing it through Maloney. Uh, at that point you thought, okay, Wrexham have had me quite a lot of the ball in this game, they've got a lot of the possession, might come back and do something about it. But Swindon amazingly went down the other end and looked to kill off the game, quite frankly, before half time. Initially, a driving shot from outside the box, super finish by Kent into the bottom right corner, Foster livered of his defence, and then a lofted ball by Austin, picking out Young, he did well to drill the ball home, again Wrexham's defence looking poor, 4-1 down at half time, it seemed to be over, Wrexham started the second half magnificently and finally got a penalty when Palmer with his shirt pulled, blatant penalty that Lee stepped up, drilled it down the middle, keeper went to the right, and Wrexham at 4-2, with momentum behind them, felt that they were in the game. And they would get even closer to being in the game as the pressure continues. And they pulled another goal back, enjoyed by the, the most beautiful Wrexham fans. Palmer <laughs> sweating it across. The ball helped on brilliantly to Cannon. Lee working it into Jones. Delicious things finished. That was one of the goals of the season. That was a wonderful move that started a long way further back. And the finish with Lee's exquisite pass and Cannon's little delicate touch to Jones. Oh, and in the finish, outstanding. Oh, we were totally on top of that point, weren't we? But the problem then was that Swindon managed to come back, Kemp at the other side of the bar for his hat-trick, and then they did get 
the fifth goal, which appears to put the game beyond Wrexham. Young holding the ball up around the edge of the area, squaring it to Kemp, and uh, almost the reverse of his first goal, exactly but in the other corner, left footed. And Wrexham a 5 3 down, then suffered because Swindon got, refound their equilibrium, got the ball down, moved the ball around really, really well, and they seem to have killed the game. The Parkinson made his usual ball changes went to the four at the back and Wrexham roared back with two added time goals to claim the draw it was absolutely remarkable Young nearly scored direct from a uh, corner the keeper having to get down to save it and then Toza hurling in a long throw it was nodded partly away Lee drilled the ball back in Jones so alert just to touch it on with his head over the keeper and 4-5 and then with the five added minutes added on Wrexham continued to charge forwards and wow insanity ensued as Wrexham got themselves that equaliser Lee's ball in for Jones's goal looping in but Jones needed that touch and then that fifth goal decisive fifth goal head to the penalty area ball knocked into the edge of the box there's a real crowd was in there and Wrexham shouted for the handball which they got free kick right on the edge of the box Wrexham onto the penalty Young stood on the ball with Ford and O'Connor Young stepped up drilled it through the wall superb save but it ricocheted back in the goal mouth and Lee was alert enough six yards out and just on side to turn it into the empty net and it was five all that was fun wasn't it <laughs> good job we haven't got hard conditions <laughs> I just think this this club we have this never die attitude and I just can't I, 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 I don't know what to say, to be honest, Mark. Yeah. How, how how do you sum that game up? Well, this is the issue, isn't it? Because, Barley. you know, We've Bill got... Parkinson needs to sum it up to decide what to do because we're letting in too many goals, but we are beasts going forward. Well, I, th I think Parkinson's going to be delighted that we've pulled something. Well, I, I, I say Rex, we've got the moral victory here. Oh, yeah. Out yeah. of the game, of course. Coming back from 4-1 yeah, down. Coming back definitely, from 4-1. Definitely. To definitely. make it 5 all And, yeah. you know, if we didn't concede that goal in the, in the second half, we would have won it. But he's also going to be equally as angry because, yeah. you know, he can't concede four goals in the first half and win games. It's, it's something we've got to look at. Maybe we change the balance to the fence. Maybe change a few few members around. Maybe we need Tonicliffe to come back. Yeah. Uh, he's not fit, at the moment. He's not fit in the own, but maybe, yeah, so maybe, maybe we yeah, need yeah. him to come back yeah. or Aaron Hayden. Yeah. It, it's, I don't know. It, 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 it's so hard to sum up games like that because you can't help but feel delighted, but slightly frustrated that we probably should have won it in some regard. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the amount of goal threats we have, and we showed in the second half of the MK Dons game and this game, uh, you know, really, it's a shame we can't grab hold of games. Yeah. It, it, it almost feels a bit at the moment like who lands the first punch almost. The also game, we scored first, got on top of them and beat them comfortably. Yeah. But it, it, it's just, I, I, I think it, we are so threatening going forwards because we, we commit and that leaves the door open at the back and small errors can be, can be punished. Uh, is it something that would be fixed by Mullen coming back and feeling that we don't have to throw the kitchen sink quite so much in order to get goals? I don't know, but it's uh, it's something we're going to have to address. Yes, I mean, we can score goals, we've seen, you know, in the games we've had here at the race course, you know, we are, we're capable of scoring without Mullen. But my big concern is the fragility of our defence at the moment. We, you know, last year our defence was so solid. I mean, there's not a lot of change in that defence, and I wonder why we've become... I think it's systematic result, but I think it's that you're pushing your wing backs up, you're playing with genuinely three men at the back. Um, you haven't got a genuine, I would yeah. say, holding midfielder, which I think might solve the issue.